and we're going to get really thirsty and hungry in a moment. Yep. All right. Well rested. Good. One of these houses would be a good place to set up some beds. All right. First thing we're doing is we're getting first person view to go back on. Then we're going to put down the fist. Where is Codsworth? We're getting rid of this dog. I'm so sick of him being under my feet. Where are you, Codsworth? Codsworth! Now, I know if you do, if you build the... I think it was... I'm trying to remember the name of it. The... The vault leader, the vault commander, whatever they called him. There's a terminal you can build. Hey. And if you build it and give it power, you can actually use that to find wherever the hell all your... Basically, you track all these guys. Let's take a rock back. We're also going to get our toy car rattle. Where are you, our special dog? Get out of my way. Okay, we want endurance. I might just give him that home because I don't want to be reminded of the home. I know Codsworth is here somewhere. We need to get some supplies so we can actually build some beds. Oh my god, where is Codsworth? He has never been this hard to find in here. He's usually floating around the main fairway, looping around here and just doing laps. That that's I've always seen him do that. Now that I actually need him, he is gone. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna get rid of dog meat. Where are you? Where are you? Piece of crap. Hey. Yeah, you are going to stay. Wait there. Nope. You're just going to stay. I, I don't want you. I think if we could go... So we're going to give him this house. Or is that our house? Yeah, this is our all house. How to do you quick enter? Is it T? Oh, God damn it. I forgot the quick enter menu. Alright. So, we're not going to give him the fancy beds. Um, it takes a lot of steel. We're just going to give him some sleeping bags. Not trying to be mean, but... Alright, we're going to scrap that. Yep. Um, scrap that. So we should have enough to build a good bit of these. So let's just... Ah! God damn it. Alright. build. Not really waiting for perfection. I'm just looking for... You have a bed, and it counts as you having a bed. How many beds we need? Five. Yeah, it's because they're, they're taking the other one, so... And they're always going to take that other one. Fine with that. I'm not going to be here that often. Now, I think they also needed some crops, which we do not have. And they also needed a water pump for the quest. And we don't have any freaking concrete. Is there anything in here that gives us concrete? Yes. Um, go away. Yes. Alright, so now... Now, there was a glitch with these... Um, we're just going to put this, um, I don't think we're the best spot, because we want to get it where, I used to always throw farms here to expand their farm, and everything's really just kind of janky over here. I don't know why I won't let you build on that. Come on, go down. Okay. 
Okay, and in case it glitches, we have another one. I don't think we have any crops. We can steal some of their plants, though. If I remember correctly. Resources, food. We don't have a damn thing. Alright. So we're going to take Seems melons. to be growing well. I'll stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. Okay, I don't think there's any other plants that we can steal from here. So, we're gonna it, hold on X. Oh, no. Hold on E, maybe. Ah, I know there was a quick way to get into that building mode so we can just get this done and over with. So now, we have a gourd. Now, this only counts for, I think, half food or something. It's something silly like that. If you ever wanted to do the, um, yeah, it only counts for two. Good lord. I know where we can get some more plants pretty close by, but I need to get water because my character's dehydrating. And I want to build that. Now, these are not infinite, so these are just a very, very temporary solution. And I don't want to have to come back to town to get water. I want to find other ways to get water. Before we go, we want to make sure we have a weapon slotted. Alright. So we're going to go to... Alright. I'm trying to remember how we quick slotted these. Alright, so... We're talking about having these maybe being the rifles... 789 being like the grenades, these being the mid range, and these being like close quarters. Oh no, healing. These being the healing. So these be our mainstay weapons. So we'll say, can we do frag grenade up here? A seven. Okay. Pipe pistol. We're gonna put under five. Baton. Um, we'll keep the ton of three for right now. Put that aid. We want stim pack to be number one. Alright. That's good enough for right now. Pipe pistol. Let's go cook some food up. And if I can ever find Codsworth, we'll get freaking get Codsworth. I'd much rather him than dog meat. Uh, let's see if it was roast. No, it was two. Damn it. Alright. Uh, make that. And, and we gotta make sure we get our skills in. So we got some food. Let's get out of this menu. Oh, hitting tab. Why don't you let me exit? Enter. There we go. Alright. So. Do one more quick look for Codsworth. At so least it's not much raining. Rather have Codsworth right now. And I'd rather have nobody than the dog. What? Did I see a blowfly meat? So maybe Codsworth glitched out of the world? I, I don't know where he's at. Wait, I heard him. There he is! Oh, thank Mr. God. Dragon. Welcome back, Mum. I do hope you were able to find... Oh, thank you. I'm so happy to see you. I really mean that. Uh, Maybe. We'll see. We certainly shall. 
I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but it's okay. Needed, we'll fix that. I'd be honored to accompany we'll turn you into a metal gear. Just say the word. Come yes, with me. of course. Right behind you. Please. Please. Yes. Confirm. Yes. He tolerates me. Oh, I'm so insulted. All right, so we got him. We need to get some plants. I'm gonna try to get some plants without dying, so I don't have to do all this crap again. And once I get the plants, get everything, get this settlement quest out of the way. We'll do another quick save, and then we'll. I wonder what Diamond City would be like. Begin our trek in the world here. Yes, we need 38s. Alright, so... Remember, there's lots of bugs over there. There is a tank or something around there. What's my view distance set to? Display... Nope, everything's max. Thought I'd be able to see the tank from here, but... Hmm. Sometimes there's a military helmet or chess piece in there. It's nice when you can actually get it. Alright, so behind the... I'm going to say it was either behind the Red Rocket or behind that building in Concord, that first one we went to that had the bed, has some plants behind it, like gourds and melons and stuff that you can actually plant. Now one thing i got to watch here is sometimes mole rats pop up. I know we still got to do our perks. It's probably driving some of you crazy. Ah, uh, yeah, so it's a little further down. Now, I don't know if this is mutt fruit we can plant. Yeah, no, we can't plant that, so we're not going to touch it. Here we go. Some gourds. Now, this is not enough to pop that quest. This is only about maybe five or so. Hmm. wish you could plant the wild fruit, but it's how do they get you now. There is a place... That has... There's a bed in here. Mm, don't know if I want to sleep in that dirty-ass bed, though. There's a robot farm that has pretty much just about everything you could want, but it's a little ways down. We could make it to it, but I don't want to run all the way there just to get plants for this quest. I don't think it stops us from building too much in the settlements. I do know there are some story pots in the game that you do have to build in the settlements. So I think we can still acquire more. Um, I don't know if it locks on anything in this one or not. But we are going to get our perks done before we leave. So in fact, what we'll do is we'll get by the bed, get our perks, rest, and then head on out. Always hungry. And again, you want to be careful sleeping like one hour because um, you can get a sleeping disorder from it in this game, which is pretty nasty. It's not the worst one. The worst one, there's one of them that you gradually just constantly lose hit points. It's. Ugh. Alright. No more delays. We're going to Vault Save. So, for this build, the character that we're going for, is a tinkerer slash pyromaniac. So, the, that's why we got so much high intelligence. She was a builder. She's a survivor. She's fought on the streets. Not very lucky considering her history and face. Not very charismatic. Um, so, the first one we're going to get is Aqua Girl. That, that is a must. Now, let's see what other... F We're not all about the combat with this, but we definitely want to get at least something with it. Now, the question is, do we want to go for melee when we start getting some of the, the melee equipment? Because we're going to see a lot of guys with melee weapons early on. But we're not built to take that on yet, so the only thing that worries me. 
we definitely want to get medic, but not just yet. We don't have an ease for gunslinger. Uh, we need the bobblehead before we can get commando, so we'll wait off of that. Rifleman would be useful, but we don't have any rifles other than the energy gun. So we can hold off on that. So anything, probably big leagues. A little early for gun nut. Um, hacker. Probably hacker and locksmith, too. Now we can get three. We don't have anything for these yet. We're not going to get any decent guns till at least like level 10 through 15. So not in any rush to grab that. And I think it's about the same for the armor, but we are going to get armor and blacksmith. Heavy gunner we're going to get because we're going to get a flamer and the jump jet. We also want to get strong back. Hmm. kind of forgot where all the bobbleheads were at. Um, I know there's one in the insane asylum with else charisma. There's the agility, which we do need to get for that. That's on that boat, and we're nowhere near surviving there. Endurance one was near the agility. I think it was in a oil silo, or... It was a bad spot, but... It, I remember that one was there. Strength... Where was it? Oh, strength was in the gunner facility on the very top. That's gonna be a pain in the ass to get. We already got perception. Um, intelligence, I think, was in a library we had to pick. I think it was a super mutant library. And we definitely need that one. So, yeah, all the, they're gonna be a pain in the ass to get. Let's get, let's get Locksmith. Let's get Hacker so we're not locked out of things, so we can get some decent loot. And again, we only have one rifle right now, and it's not the best. We can't really use this for the spray and pray, so we're going to get big leagues because we do have melee weapons. And we should be good to go right now. All right. Sleep for one whole hour. Whew. Man, survival makes me so nervous because most, if the game crashes, I don't remember if it triggers the save state or not. I don't think it does. If you do have to close the game early, it should save it. And then when you reload it, it I think it erases the save, which was nice. But, man, it is so punishing if you get screwed up or you just get sloppy. It's kind of why I want to do a melee build with this, yet not depend on power armor. Makes it more, gives you more of a rush, that adrenaline. All right, so our current mission here, we need to get to Diamond City for the main story plot. Though we're not, I don't think we're really tough enough to survive Diamond City. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I don't want to forget it in case we're running a cricket. Is the bars of gold. And once we get that, hopefully we'll have enough to barter for the spray and pray if we meet her. It's always a gamble if you have enough for it or not. I know if you have high charisma, you can get it real easy, really cheap. But we, that is one of our endgame guns that we're going to get with the explosive expert, the commando, uh, a few of the other things that we're going to tie into it nicely to do so much extra splash damage with that Tommy gun. And it's a good medium range weapon that we can just annihilate uh, people in the wasteland. Hopefully that they don't annihilate us first with a rocket to the face. So this is where the goal is actually at. Oh, crap, there's a bed in here, too. I completely forgot about that. Holy crap. So, foodstuffs. Definitely taking cocktail. Um, I feel like my character would take the antifreeze just because, you know, she has a vendetta against cold. So here's some of the gold bars. Now, hopefully we don't screw this up. 
Oh yeah, we didn't break it. Sweet. Hello. Ah. I don't think there was a bad thing in there. Lots of food stuff. So we're not gonna take all the stuff down here. I'm just looking for bobby pins. Um, see snip pack. We'll leave that in here. So this could be another storage, actually. I think we're good here, but I bet we'll get so many diseases from that bed. I thought there was like copper bars here too, or maybe I'm thinking about another place. Is there one more gold bar in here? Yeah, I was on the floor. So three gold bars. Not bad at all. Two gold with the two wedding rings and whatever other miscellaneous stuff that we can find. Hopefully we have enough to get the spray and pray for Miss Cricket. If we run into her. She has a, a set pattern that she travels by. No Vault 88 she goes to a lot. Diamond City is another one. There's a f two other places I think she goes around, but they're really far out the way. So Diamond City to that vault is your best bet of hitting her randomly. Uh, and that vault right outside, you can sleep or wait for her. And she'll usually arrive there. But with survival, you got to worry about starving to death. So, it's, um, it's kind of a gamble. But once we get that spray and pray, 